For patients with coronary artery disease, fractional flow reserve and intravascular ultrasound are common adjunctive tools for guiding decisions on percutaneous coronary intervention, or PCI. How these tools compare with respect to clinical outcomes is uncertain. In this multinational prospective randomized open-label trial, 1,682 adults with intermediate stenosis on the basis of visual estimation during angiography were assigned to guidance by fractional flow reserve or guidance by intravascular ultrasound. In the fractional flow reserve group, PCI was performed if the fractional flow reserve was 0.80 or lower. In the intravascular ultrasound group, PCI was performed if the minimal luminal area was 3 square millimeters or lower, or 3 to 4 square millimeters with a plaque burden above 70%. The primary outcome was a composite of death from any cause, myocardial infarction, or any revascularization at 24 months, with fractional flow reserve tested for non-inferiority to intravascular ultrasound. The primary outcome occurred in approximately 8% of the patients in each group. Fractional flow reserve met the trial's criteria for non-inferiority and also had a lower rate of stent implantation during the index procedure. Secondary outcomes were similar in the two groups, including death from any cause, death from cardiac causes, myocardial infarction, and target vessel revascularization during follow-up. The authors conclude that guidance with fractional flow reserve was non-inferior to guidance with intravascular ultrasound with respect to clinical outcomes and offered a lower rate of stent implantation during the index procedure. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.